All right, Market Watch. Next Friday, the collab between me and Amanda. This very, very awesome Ecclesia for Halloween. These will be going up on sale. I will have details more next week, but there's only going to be a hundred of them. And they will be numbered down here. Disregard these, though. These are the uh, test ones. Logo will be on the back for those. So, just got these to test quality. They are metal, and they are beautiful. Now, let's dig on into Market Watch, shall we? The Rage of Raw, day one, has come. All right, so what's going on? Seal cases, 744 shipped to your front door. Not horrible. But the thing you care about, the winged dragon of ghost rare. $340 currently, on down to 341 and then we start going back up towards the 350 mark. Uh, pay attention throughout the night if you really want to pick up one of these. They're not in a horrible place um, to be investing right now. I do have a feeling that these will be jumping up. You might be sitting on the next 10,000 dragon here. God Slimes are already down to $36. I'm expecting to probably continue to see these drop. The Wing Dragon of Raw alternate art. Actually, these are so cool. These are sitting at $26 currently. Guardian Slime coming in at 15s. Ancient Chance at 13s. Jinzo the Machine Menace, 777. All right. Blaze Cannons, fives. Mech Lord Astrals, three bucks. This set's uh, a lot more distraught than I thought it would be. A lot of this stuff. Millennium Revelations, I would not be surprised to see a buyout on this card later on in its life. True Name Reprints, these are very solid. Um, so I get Shockwave coming in relatively high. Okay, okay, I see you. Outside of that... You have, this stuff is super cheap. If you really want to build one of these decks, the whole cores are affordable, except for, you know, Egyptian God Slime. But let's be honest here. You kind of know what you're getting yourself into if you're going down that path. But I'd wait a little bit on God Slimes. Everything else is fairly cheap to pick up. If you just want to have the Winged Dragon or Raw cards just to have a Merit character deck, um, competitive scenes, like, uh, why would I ever do that? Meanwhile, you know, the casual player base will be like, yeah, I, I, I want to go for that. There's going to be one person that's going to pick up their Winged Dragon Raw and play it, which is fine. But from the collector's aspect right now, these are very solid. All right. I'm actually surprised they're holding at this price. All right. Steel Swarm Roach First Edition. I see we've got 10 whole listings here. Uh, we're at 15s, but when these 10 listings are gone, um, they are literally gone. Like, I actually kid you not. So that's kind of interesting. I, d I didn't expect to see Steel Swarm Roach, of all things, disappearing. Quick launches have been creeping up as well. Uh, I see down here the Circuit Breakers. I'm in about 9 bucks, And then we start to hit the Megaton versions, about 5 bucks. Okay, and then Commons down here come in at about 2s. So it's not crazy increase, but if you haven't been paying attention to Quick Launch... You might have missed these starting to, you know, go up even further. Lost Art Dark Magician Girls. Currently lowest is 61. I'm not going to talk about the Monster Reborns or the Exodias. Uh, Harpy Queens. $22, by the way. All right. Love the fact that the Queens are worth more than the Foolish Burials. Uh, speaking of which, there's one Foolish Burial here for 15 That'll probably be gone. But... Also, Channelers just rolled on out today. These are coming in at $16. Also, as a side note here, $21 on the skill drains. I see we have 12 listings available on these. I see that the Lost Art promotion has pretty much taken off. Uh, the player base is definitely in love with these cards. It, it's ridiculous. Like When you create value for people buying product, they want to go to these stores... They want to pick up product now. And by doing the Lost Art campaign, they've done a very good job at that. So hopefully in the future we'll see this stick around because this is a huge motivator for stores and players alike. Coltlings, well, you're looking at about 4 to $5. Um, remember, new token generator. We lost Olion, so we had to go to the next best thing. So here we are. All right, this one's going to be cringe for a lot of you. 
Platinum Rare Effect Veiler. I, I kid you not. All right, like, who actually went, huh, today I'm going to buy out Platinum Rare Effect Veiler. They did it. They made the card $11. I, I'm... I'm proud of you. I really am. Uh, that was the sickest buyout you could have actually executed. Huh. Are, are cards from here actually worth it now? Have we have we finally reached the point that these are a lot of two platinum rares getting bought out? Wow. You know, I, I thought platinum rare was a joke. I still think it is a joke. Um... I'm going to stand by that for this video, but, uh, the price that you paid, one of these sold? Wow. Okay, so, yeah, Platinum Rare, the uh, what people would deem a joke, has actually, it, okay, you know what, nope, moving on along, alright. Fogblade's still 16s, Secrets still 16s, Ragged Gloves, 15s, uh, Booty Boots, 9 bucks. Uh, nines, ancient cloaks, eight bucks. Um, okay. Um, I don't see everything looks the way it should back here. Charge of the light brigades. I was just kind of moseying through these before uh, we started filming this, but one thirty-eight on up to the one hundred and eighty dollar mark. So if you got those first eds for some reason, you've been holding on to them for all these years. Uh, you're still sitting on a very, very, very good gold mine here. All right. Animate Art Archazors. Um, I blinked. These were 65 on Tuesday. Um, a cheap one here for 54 bucks. Um, we got one here for 57 So uh, what you're telling me here is there is movement on Animadors. Uh, they've gone down a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to question mark that. All right. Spell Strikers, we looked at this last Friday. Um, I'm still a little bit sketch about this buyout. $28 for a Spell Striker, though. Uh, the only thing we care about, this is just an... It's a Warrior Extender by removing a spell. The old classic, oh, I opened up the Rota. Okay, cool, banish the Rota, you know, search for this. And you basically would be able to extend on through your day. And it looks like now that we're kind of back at that, people are looking at this and going, hey, it's another Extender. So... Power Tool Dragon. All right, we're here for the commons. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you for a second here. You can buy a common near me for $28. You can buy a mod play secret rare, probably a little bit damaged, for 16 bucks. Now, the piece of me tells me that I would buy the mod play every time instead of paying this, all right? Uh, and... We got a hot light player here available. Okay, well, it, it, this is... It, it's so interesting when you look at this. This is going to be gone by the time Market Watch gets up. But all right, so 20 bucks for commons, by the way. All right. Oh, TTTs. Oh, well, look, hot $500. I, nothing has changed with these forever. They're, they're riding that $500 line. And nothing ever changes. Um, those are for the starlights. Regular droplets. Yep, we're heading on into the hundred dollar mark. Tactics. We're heading on into the man. When both cards are about a hundred a piece. Ugh. Yep. Good luck. I uh, I hope that you uh, budgeted correctly for this set. Hey, look. Remember when these were three dollars? I said I'd go in on them if they hit twos, and then somebody else beat me to it. Good. Ultimate Offerings. Now, I don't know what happened here uh, on, on the thread today on Zodiac. Um, somebody was like, Robbie, the gadget buyouts are happening. I'm like, what? He's like, Ultimate Offering. I'm like, $400, by the way, for the old normal summon extender. Good luck. I, I th This will never hold. Oh, uh, what was it? Galaxies won the voting today. Uh, I'll probably make a video on the results of that. Probably Monday-ish. Uh, it seems kind of fun to talk about, but I this this stuff has been going chaotic for a little while. Like I don't know why people are so surprised 
All right. Two hundred dollars on these. It doesn't surprise me that we've we've reached this point with the photon stuff. I like players love this stuff. The it, it's amazing that people really underestimate this. So all right, ulti swap frogs. Hey, these are still about a hundred dollars for light plays. Uh yeah, one hundred for near mints. Okay, so not horrible. Eight cents for frogs. Okay. Ye old fright for crackalackin. I am still wondering why these haven't pushed their way down yet. Uh, thirteen bucks. Thirteen bucks for near mints. Yeah, it looks like we're riding the thirteen dollar line on these martial metal marchers. I kind of blinked and I haven't looked at these in a little while. These are actually at twelve dollars or twelve dollars at two dollars a piece. Whew! All right. 12 and 2 are the same thing. Uh, yes, the Ebons. All right, so Ebon Illusions. These are $30. Shonen Jump Magazine promo. Uh, Ebon Illusions from the Shining Victory Special Editions. These are $8. Meanwhile, Ebon Highs are, like, so cheap. Ebon Illusion, though. The fact that... What is this, an extender for Dark Magician? A lot of people kind of look at this card and they're like, oh, it's, it's really good. It, it, it is. But your price tag tells you that. Also, collector's ability. But... Okay. Spiral cards. Cards are three bucks. Double helixes are dollars again. Master plan off the ban list win. Master plan off the ban list win. All right. Master plans. 25 cents plus shipping. Basically like dollars. Doesn't surprise me. Foolish burial. Man, these are seven bucks. Mega tin versions are four. Okay. Sure. That's interesting. Uh, Charizard V Maxes, I, 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 there because uh, when you see this eleven hundred dollar price tag here for no reason, by the way, none. All right, this this card has no rhyme or reason being this much, um, but I mean, classics of the Pokemon market. But very, very, very awesome. I I love these. I've seen the giant struggle that is going through of the community trying to get these on that side of the game, and it's it's a struggle. Dark Flare Knights from DR1. 200, nope, I'm out. Garden Rose Mains are still on buyout status at $30. Does not surprise me. Twin Twisties at $72. These are actually getting bought out as we speak. 71's back here. Anything else in OTS twelve? If it's if it's a format warping card for a time, judgments are seventy ones. Okay, Labby and ears choking back on up here. I'm glad those are reversing. Five bucks on the Nibiru tokens. Hmm. I remember when these were cheap, right? Get them for like two bucks. Dolkas. Hmm. I can buy a Dolka, and then I can film it in a pack opening video here for the exact same result. Well, hey. <laughs> oh yeah, for photon, uh, hot thirteen bucks down here for tens. That's a that's a yikers. Evie Gishki Mind August still tens. Gus Crack and still nines. All right, nothing else too crazy back here. Photon orbitals fifty bucks by the way. More love for the photons. You gotta show it. And then uh, Nocto Visions. These things are a dollar post shipping. So uh, if you're looking at playing Dragon Link. Ta-da! So what do you guys think about today's market? Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and we'll guys... Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing trouble shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanCall40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by MCall40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out MCallGames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.